Hello there, this is going to be a general love reading for all signs. And today is Easter. So it is April, excuse me, it's not April yet. April, April 1st is tomorrow. This is the last day in March, but of course, as we know, energy is fluid and time is an illusion. So let's just see what the energy is today. First cards of the Knight of Swords, some sort of unexpected communication. You could hear from someone out of the blue. That's tricky because tomorrow is also not just April 1st, but it's also Mercury in retrograde. You know, we've had Mercury in retro all this time. It's been the shadow period, right? Um, sometimes the shadow period is worse than the actual. And then Mercury in retro is nothing to fear. It's just something to be aware of. I always tell you guys, it's like checking what the weather is outside just to be prepared. But that is a time period when Mercury goes retro, when people from the past like to show up. It's a time when things have been unfinished. They seem to come up to the surface. Um, but it feels like you have some sort of unexpected communication. I mean, it kind of ties into the whole he is risen. You know, Jesus being resurrected, if you will. Somebody's coming back from the past. Or you're going to hear from someone that you haven't heard from in a minute. You have the Queen of Wands. Feminine here is sitting pretty. Right? She's extremely powerful. Her back is completely faced to them, too. You can see the way the cards came out. See how her back, back is faced? So she doesn't see it coming. It's unexpected. There's some sort of unexpected communication coming in and it could be from someone who has not been communicating as you can see there I'm trying to get this angle right so you can see the cards right they haven't been communicating because the four of pentacles is someone who is oh my god the lovers Part of Gemini, but the lovers is also a magnetic attraction between two people. A magnetic attraction. It's it's almost uncontrollable. So there could be someone who's feeling this magnetic pull back towards you, towards you, and it does somehow tie into some sort of communication. There's some sort of communication here. They may feel out of the blue, intuitively pulled and guided to communicate. Judgment. Yeah, something is, is it's awakening them. I mean, look at the card itself. Sorry, I'm trying to get the angles here just right. No, it's hard to see it. Right? It's like a wake-up call. It's like a resurrection. They're rising up from the dead. So something that you thought was over or something that you may have thought, something you may have made peace with, it's not over. Matter of fact, it's just beginning for some of you. It's not over. It's just the beginning. You know that kind of an energy? Something is resurrected. Someone comes back from the past. Someone comes back from the dead. Moi, ah, 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 ah. It's very... <laughs> you know what I mean? It's very like, looky, looky what the cat drug in. You know, that kind of an energy. Well, would you look at that? Let me see if I can adjust the lighting here. I'm always trying to do different angles so that we can get the best view of the cards three of pentacles wanting to work together now this could be some sort of work connection but it's like hearing the call right feeling the pull feeling the call to take some sort of an action after a period of absolutely fucking nothingness okay but they feel this magnetic pull they feel this call to action is is really the way i want to put that so whether it's so like for some of you there was absolutely nothing happening it was dead in the water 
it was uh, stagnant, see? The Fool, yeah, that's jumping all in. They go from nothingness to taking a bold big leap, and that's this right here. There's something about unexpected communication. Some sort of communication is... It could be just action itself. See, this is where they hid. Somebody here hid behind, you know, Nine of Wands energy, which is somebody who's fucking wounded and triggered and they like don't, they, they, they operate based on their wounds from the past, you know? So it's like if they've been burned in the past, they're fucking not going to do shit. You got the Four of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Somebody here wants a new beginning. They either want to start something with you or they want to start again. <clears throat> Nine of Cups, that's wish fulfillment. Now that's basically them saying to themselves, well, this is what I want. And sometimes you don't know what you got till it's gone. So for some of you, that may have very well been the case, right? Like they, the stagnancy and the nothingness here was crucial for them to be able to feel out exactly what it was. And it's it's this, it's magnetic, it's, it's magic, it's fiery, it's passionate. And, you know, there could have been a bit of healing here that's happened because of the Nine of Wands energy. So wounded warrior. This wounded warrior may have taken some time off to look at their shit and, or, or buck up and like not allow their shit from the past to fuck up their current or their future. It's like someone's had a realization. Eight of Pentacles. It's a hardworking person, but they also use work as a distraction. Someone here uses work to hide, or they use that as some sort of thing. I wonder if you are happy without me. This person's real fucking dramatic. <laughs> At least they have been. Not that they are completely, but they have been. It's the card of somebody in their feels, right? I wonder if you're happy without me. It's very like, I love you unconditionally. Yeah, they do. They care. My life is not as together as it seems. I know I messed everything up. This person just literally had this thing about, I don't need anything or anybody. And that's the whole, my life is not as together as it seems. It was like, I don't need love. I don't need you. Right? And they fucked it up. There's regret. Something comes over them. They just feel it. I want to be more than friends. I want to be more than friends. Hold on, please. I'm actually going to try to lift the camera up, but I've got to create space here. Just a little smidge. There we go. I want to be more than friends. Why would that change now? I mean, sometimes we don't know. Sometimes it's just the energy shifts and someone has a realization. Sometimes the realization is overnight. Did they have a dream of something? I don't know. Maybe it's with the planetary alignment with Mercury going retro. I don't know. But th there's a shift. Right, that Knight of Swords is the is what's leading this this reading, and the Knight of Swords is somebody that just and with the fool there too, they just fucking jump, they just do it. You know, they just do it. There it is. Like, remember, they just fucking leap. They just reach out. They just, I mean, the fool is also Aries energy and we are in Aries season. So it could be so many different factors here, right? That's causing somebody to all of a sudden do it. And it's not that they didn't want to do it before. They did, but they were able to fight it, right? With the lovers, it's magnetic, stimulating and patience. Your patience has run out. 
feel like <laughs> I feel like they sat in this because they were patient. They were able to <sighs> wait it out. And they can't wait it out any longer. They can't. It's, just, it's impossible. Alchemy, there's changes. The change is going from being utterly patient and non-interactive to something stimulating them to want to be engaging and wanting to communicate and wanting to be you know, head over heels. I mean, that's no shock because what the fuck else is it going to be? You know what I mean? Magic touch. You have a healer. See, they reach out. They fucking reach out. There's something about you. You have this thing about you that when you guys connect, when you guys touch bases, when you guys are in communication, right? The touch to me is not physical, though it could be a physical feeling they felt when you guys shook hands or hugged or whatever, but it's about reaching out. There is this magic, serendipitous energy attraction to it. It's palpable. It's passionate. It's fun. It's charming, right? And like they want that in their life. They want it in their fucking life. Icing on top. It's better than they expected it would be. Right? Yes way, Rosé. And now you have friendship. No, they're not going to do the friendship thing. It's where you guys were leading. It's where, it's where it started. Mm-mm. Do you want to be more than friends? Yes way, Rosé. Remember you had that card earlier. I want to be more than friends. So they may not use those exact words, but their actions are going to show that. And it will be quite profound because this person went from zero communication or bare minimal dry ass communication to now full blown. To now full blown. I mean, it's just the whole, it's the whole shebang. But it's communication. Wow, the tower, very judgment again. See, it's they, they hear something, they peep something, or they get some sort of judgment call. It's a wake up call. It's something that wakes up from the dead. It rises up from the dead. It was dead in the water. It was, someone made peace with it being done and over. I don't fucking know, right? But judge, it's a judgment call. It's, it's something that was dormant that is awakening. And there you have the tower because it's very sudden and it's very fucking unexpected. Sudden change with the tower. It's also unpredictable. It's what you don't see coming. Ten of coins. You don't see that coming. The ten of coins is them giving you everything. It's, 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 imagine all of these little bits of communication, right? All of the pentacles are offers and effort and communication imagine it just comes through it's like an opening a floodgate like all of a sudden a floodgate opens and now all of a sudden it's not just little bits of communication but it's like an overload queen of swords well some of you might definitely have your guard up when this happens but they're also fearful of that right well, how you're going to respond you might be very intimidating to them the three of wands yeah they've been waiting waiting it out they've been patient and that is it's like a different cycle now yeah look at that death see how they're charging forward and look at alice she's like oh my god what's happening because that's how it's going to be it's going to be very fucking aggressive it's going to come out of the blue and you're going to be like shocked and you're going to be like what the fuck holy shit what is this shit it's huge transformation the way they communicate with you is going to be a huge change you have the eight of swords again you don't see it coming you don't see it coming because that's just the way it's they're going to try and catch you off guard queen of cups because if you're caught off guard you'll be open to it as opposed to if you see it coming head on if you see it coming head on you'll avoid it two of cups they're very afraid right they're very nervous to fall because this person has this mindset because of this prolonged period of this 
<clears throat> they know it's not just superficial, right? They know that this must mean it's something deeper, it's more. And their fear is if I fall, what if I don't recover? If I fall and I get rejected, I don't know if I could deal with that. Three of Cups. And here you have the Ace of, uh, Ace of Coins, which is like a full-blown fucking offer. So it's an offer of love. <clears throat> This three of cups is friendship, it's casual. They may try and pull it off like that. The offer might be to like hang out, but it may be more of a friendship vibe and not necessarily like, let's go out on a full blown date, page of coins. I mean, they're gonna come in with something. It's some type of <sighs> some type of communication come away with me look at the bitch the feminine's just like literally doing her own thing she's not even paying any attention to them that's what a lot of you have done you've turned your back you thought this wasn't going anywhere there was no communication and you just turned in another direction you just said okay bye breath of this thing now they're thinking about you i wish some nights lasted forever they're thinking about you now there's the confession the confession is to themselves first and foremost is that they can't stop thinking about this thinking about you thinking about your previous conversations full bloom oh yeah no this bitch is definitely in her prime she is energetically just ripe you're the pick of the litter Right? Your energy is so magnetic right now. The divine masculine. Ooh, they're going to come in, honey. Who this motherfucker is going to rise up like Jesus did on the third day, honey. Okay? Like, you know, the story goes, whether you're religious or you're not, they say it's a lot can happen in three days. <laughs> okay? Jesus wasn't in the tomb. If, if we want to use that story as an, as, as like an analogy. Right? Like, he, he rose up in three fucking days. Like, a lot can happen. This is about rising up in vibration. They could rise up overnight. Or three days, I don't know. I mean, they rise up. Mouth watering. Their mouth is watering. Right? They're... That's why their patience is growing thinner, not because they just want to have sexual relations, but because they're so attracted to you. The magnetic pull is ridiculous. You have independent. This feminine is coming up so high vibe. That's why they got to rise up to match her energy because she's like, listen, I'm not going to sit here and fucking wait. I'm going to do my thing. And this masculine gets a huge wake up call. It's like it's like a transformation. You have travel again because they could be worried that if you are independent or literally traveling, who the fuck are you gonna meet? Where are you going? What are you doing? Because they know it ain't with them. Secret lover. Do you have a secret lover? Right? Like now they're doing all this overthinking. Like the flip has the script has flipped. It's like the tables have turned where they're wondering now, see, melancholy, they're wondering, they're in their feels. What are you doing? Who are you with? And, and it's putting them in this state of anxiousness. And I'm going to be honest with you, I don't think they're the type of person that's anxious very often. Not when it comes to connections and love, the hierophant, that's Taurus, but that's a deeper level of commitment. That's what this motherfucker is looking for. That's what this motherfucker is looking for. Deeper level of commitment. Not just friendship, not just casual, not just friends. Nine of Wands, see that? They, remember earlier, Wounded Warrior. They're clearing the way. They're making headway. They've started their healing. They're no longer trapped behind all of their shit and their wounds and their triggers from the past. So they have definitely gone through some sort of healing. Oh, look at that. The devil wears Prada, honey. Mm, it's Capricorn. It's a businessman, regardless of what sign. So somebody here who is quite patient, as you can see him sitting there, right? Although he appears to be, is he really? 
Ace of Swords, that's the fucking communication. The communication comes because he can no longer sit like this in silence, patiently. It's impatience. The devil is obsession. They're obsessively thinking about this. It's nonstop, right? Especially if you out doing your thing. Oh, it's going to eat their ass up. They have to communicate. Five of Cups, melancholy again. Because they're obsessed with it. They need clarity. <clears throat> but their clarity for them <clears throat> is to talk to you again. You see how my throat's getting weird now? It wasn't weird all day. <clears throat> all of a sudden now. Because that's them. The communication. The throat chakra has been blocked. The thing that they're supposed to be fucking doing is communicating. And they have not been doing that. <clears throat> the throat chakra has been blocked. And it's clearing up. There it is again, Knight of Swords. An unexpected message. It comes out of the blue. They just say it. They just send it. They just do it. King of Swords, there he is. Communication. It's going to fucking communicate. It's eating them alive, not talking to you, not knowing what the fuck you're doing. Queen of Cups, they're worried if you're going to be open to them. The Emperor, see, they got to buck up. <sighs> he has to be fearless. This is how they're going to come in. This is the rise up. This is basically like Jesus, if you will, right? Resurrecting, rising up from the dead. This is a very high vibration. Not all Emperors are high vibed, but this one is coming up at a higher vibration. I can feel it. The emperor is also Aries, right? The emperor is someone who's always in control. They're feeling out of control here. You see the point? It's not their comfort zone. Their comfort zone is controlling the narrative. They're in charge. They're the boss. What they found is that they're constantly thinking about this bitch. Where is she? What's she doing? Why do I care? Go to sleep, dream about them, daydream about them. It's wondering when I'm going to see you again, it's uncontrollable because the magnetic pull is so strong and uncontrollable. It's its own entity. Two of Wands, Nine of Swords. See, that was, the feminine was in this particular type of state because the masculine wasn't doing shit. They were just there with the potential, but nothing actually happening, right? Remember when I told you the tables turn? This is where they're at now. They're anxious. They're overthinking. They're in their feelings, right? Feeling melancholy. They, they're not feeling happy. Happy things are happening all around them and to them, but they're not feeling happy because you guys have this um, gap. You're not united. You're not connecting. There's a fucking gap here. And they don't like the gap. It's too, it's, it's eating them up. Something has shifted. They've risen up like Jesus, right? Took only three days. How long does it take this one? From the time that they go through spiritual death or from the time that something ends. Remember Jesus was, um, Jesus, well, was he buried? No, he wasn't necessarily buried. He was put in the tomb, in the cave. Basically, when Jesus died. Okay, Jesus died three days later. He resurrected. That's the story. It doesn't matter if you're religious or you're not. I mean, honey, we're spiritual. So we just take bits and pieces of what we feel resonate. My point here is, is that it took three days from that. So they have some sort of similar thing, right? Where it's like spiritual death. Death of ego pride whatever it is i can tell you right now this fucker thinks th th their pride is out of control their ego mm, they could hide behind the pride and the ego <sighs> but pride and ego that vibration can't survive in this type of a connection it can't survive so it's death of that, death of fear, death of fear of being vulnerable. All of those things have to die away in order for this to come together. 
right? Let's get into this extended, which will be done on Patreon. If you are a patron there, I will see you there. If you're not, click below this video the word more. You'll see the Patreon link there. Um, also follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi. That info is also below. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Easter weekend. Whether you're religious or you're not, it doesn't matter. Um, I will see you guys in the extended on Patreon. Love you guys. Bye.